Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can use Event Dispatcher in level blueprints uh, with other blueprints as well to communicate between multiple uh, blueprints. So the biggest problem I think we have inside Unreal Engine is that when you open up your level blueprint, uh, whatever you create in there, whatever variable you create in there, you can't access access it in other blueprints so for example if i open up one of the blueprint that i create in here if i go to blueprint you can see in here we have this light that we are using in our street whenever we are in day or the sun is up we want to turn off this light and whenever we are in the night cycle we want to turn on this light so how we can do that? First of all, you remember in last video, we create a day and night cycle. Now we want to use a event dispatcher to tell all the blueprints that is out there to turn off their lights during day, right? So for doing that, we can get the sun direction, for example, in here and check it. If it is more than 180, okay? If you remember, for example, in here, the rotation of sun when the pitch of our sun when it is between 0 and 180 it means it is during night and when whenever the pitch of our sun is 180 to 2 to 360 it is day right so we want to check that and whenever that happen tell all the other blueprints that has light to turn their lights off because we are in day so now with that we can just use a branch and if the pitch of our sun is more than 180 just fire up a event dispatcher so for doing that you know that we can't use event dispatcher inside a level blueprint so that's a problem so for example in here we want to get a event dispatcher in this blueprint we can't do it if we create that uh, event dispatcher inside the level blueprint right so that is a problem if we go to a level what i want to do in here i want to create a just blueprint right so in here let me just right click create a blueprint of type of action doesn't matter i want to call it bp misc or whatever you want to call it double click on it to open it and in here this blueprint i want to use it to communicate between level blueprint and other blueprints right so in here what i want to do i want to create a function and i want to call it day and night cycle changed right so this is a function and with this function i want to create the event dispatcher i want to call it day night changed event dispatcher right or whatever you want to call it and in here in this function i want to call it right that's cool but this event dispatcher i wanted to carry some variable right so the good thing about this event dispatcher is that we it can carry some variable okay so if you click on over event dispatcher we can create an input for that for example i want to call it day is it day or or whatever you want to call it and i want to give it default value to be true for example let's just know compile and everything cool our function again needs an input as well and i want to again call it day or night right or whatever you want to call it and we can just connect it to our event dispatcher so now with this function we can call it wherever we want and we can access it in wherever we want right so now with that if we go to a level blueprint in here whenever the sun is up and the pitch of the sun is more than 180 we want to fire that event dispatcher how we can do that we can just drag and drop over bp misc that we create together right just click on it and go here right click create instance off of that cool right and in here i want to i want to run that function what what was it called day and night cycle changed so this is just a function and we can give it the true 
and the true means it is day so let's just check that and during night i can just copy and paste this function for the false the day and night it is night so uncheck it right so it need a target as well know with that we are running we are calling an event dispatcher from our level blueprint and no if we go to our other blueprints so for example this light right in here we can get that how we can get that first of all we can get actor of a class okay because there is just one we can get that very easy bp misc that we create right and in here we can bind to day and night cycle event dispatcher right and it will give us an event we can just create a custom event and with this custom event we can call it day or night or whatever you want to call it right it will give us that variable and in here um, we can use a branch right and check for is it day if it is day true will be happening so we can set the visibility of our point light in our blueprint right to be off right and whenever it is during night we can set the visibility of our point light to be true no if we compile and run our game you can see we have a light in here and whenever it reached the day this light should be off because we use the event dispatcher to make them off right so let's just see what will happen and you can see no if i hit f8 in here and pause our game and click on this and click on the point light if we go down in here you can see the visibility is off but there is an emissive material in here so let's just again go back here and change that material this is static mesh if you click on it you can see it using uh, MI light iron, the emissive material for ele element one in here. And we want to change that to, let me show you, MI light off, right? So we can do that. It is in element one. So we can grab this and set a material for, right? Set material and it is element one. So let's just put one in there. And I want to change the material to MI light off right so during day am i light off and we can copy and paste it over here and tell it to be am i light on right so now with that if we compile and run our game during day the light will be off the emissive material will be off but during night all the emissive material and light will be on right now you can see it is during night and the emissive material is on and now you can see during day the emissive material is off and the light is off as well so that's how we can use event dispatcher with level blueprint and by the way this project that i'm working on in here is part of our course that i did create this map from scratch and i did show everything from scratch so that was it for this video i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye